Hey guys, welcome back. Decker's gonna tell us how it's gonna work here in the last, uh, I'm assuming last, uh, chapter of Read Only Memories. Turns out he was a big jerk, nobody trusted him, and yet somehow he still managed to get the surprise on us, even though everyone saw it coming. So, here's how this is gonna work. On my turn, I'm gonna tell you a story. On yours, you two are gonna try to run or hide. Doesn't matter, player's choice. Lucky you. But just keep this in mind, if I manage to piss you off, or make you scared enough, I might, just might, be able to hear your heartbeat racing. Heck, I might even be able to smell you if, you're cur if the current's in the air, right? If I can smell your fear, and the taste lingers on my tongue sweeter than any drug. So, that's the game. I'm going to tell you all about how I've been tracking you since this whole thing started. And you just have to try and stay extra calm so that I can't find you and, well, you can guess. Won't this be fun? Ha ha ha. Uh, this is bad. What do we do? We can't fight him. But we have the... No, he messed with our zapper. We can't take him with these settings. There's no time for me to figure out how to revert it. We don't have the firepower. We use the zapper too much on the security ROMs and we only have the charge for four stun level shots at most. It'll have to be enough. Wait. The interference or the interface I'm using allows me to control whether these surrounding server columns are active or not. If I close off some of the nodes, we should at least slow his movement and disorient him. But I won't stop him outright, but I can focus on tracking Decker's location with this, and you tell me where to block off his path so we can try to navigate uh, him away from us. Avoid getting near him until we think of some sort of solution. If he finds us, be ready to shoot. Ready or not, here I come. Take the lead, Zerfall. Pick what you want to close first, and then let's get moving. All right. Close that one. Close that one. Oh, he broke through it. Ah, but it moved him up that way. Okay, okay. Oh, man, he gets to move a lot. So, let's see. Where do I start? Okay, let's begin with the easy stuff, where I, reve where I reveal my dastardly plot. Well, Fairlight's dastardly plot. He honestly thinks he's some kind of modern uh, Machiavelli. But to be frank, he hasn't been on much of a winning streak lately. Parallax used him as a scapegoat for that big ROM hack back in 54. They even got him to resign as CTO at their urging, just to make public amends. And as soon as he did, they stabbed him in the back and voted him off the board the very next day. Since then, he's been licking his wounds, waiting for the chance to get back where he feels he belongs. At the very top levels of conversation in the world. Apparently, you especially miss it once you lose it. Along with the many projects he's done over the past ten years or so, uh, since being booted, he's always worked towards getting back to that true upper circle of power. You already know that, of course. He barely tries to hide it. He had me digging up dirt to try to blackmail his way back in. Since uh, tanking the stock and staging a buyout would put the company in a place where it would where it would need years to work its to uh, years of work to get back on track again. So imagine my surprise when you walk in, right through the front door, of a suspiciously missing parallax researcher, or whom I'd been casting uh, casing for dirt. I was gonna dump your body in the bay, but Fairlight figured it might pay off if we gave you a little lead and waited to see where you could what you could track down. And geez, pay off did it ever. Okay, let's move. Alright, so we can't block that one anymore. Let's uh Shit, I didn't want to do that. We gotta U turn this. I have I've made a horrible mistake. Audio file? What? Oh, I must have heard all the music. Run before he recovers! Jeez. He gets to move way too much. How is this a dead end? That bought us some time, but only for a bit. Let's keep moving. Okay, close this one. Don't block us in. Okay, open this one. Block this one. We've learned all sorts of things through following you, but I'm sorry to tell you, Turing, that I never did find out who ordered Hayden's death. Huh, I guess it doesn't matter. It led us to this, Big Blue, the gold mine. Of course, Fairlight would prefer not to have Parallax's stock in the shitter, 
but this is too good of an opportunity to pass up. As soon as I'm done eviscerating the both of you, I'm going to trash this entire server complex. Alright, so. Let's open that one. Let's close that one. We're going to turn to the right. I could just let you do it. But I'm sure you have some kind of plan that will stop Big Blue for good. That can't happen. Parallax can't become the true superpower that it would it should without bi Big. And then, what would have been the point of, uh, what would the point have been of all this? Wrecking this installation will only slow things down a teeny tiny bit. Long enough for him to launch his assault. By the time Big Blue is ready to come back online, Fairlight will already be back at top. Okay, so... I don't know where we're trying to get to, but let's uh, close this one off so that he has free reign up here. Let's open this one up and move forward. And hey, I'm getting what I want too. I don't care much about all that interpersonal business intrigue. I just want to be able to gut stuff. It's win-win for everyone, yeah? Oh, he's also from Besaida Island. I'm thinking don't let him get to you. Right, I'm going to close this one off. And open this one up. Uh, okay, we might be able to get him to go in a circle here. Oh, and I really should extend my sincerest personal thanks to the two of you. I haven't had much this much fun in years. Fearlight has a discretionary policy with the, for the way I handle his problems. Plausible deniability and all that. Not that he asked for this, but I assume I won't be out buying him a new roll of tissue paper to dry his tears. Besides, just hasn't haven't been that many opportunities to indulge my hobby and he pays me well enough that I restrain myself. But following you two has ended up giving me so many people to silence, just in case they uncovered the same things about Big Blue that you did. You and that cop lady are the only loose threads. Hmm, maybe sympathy for good measure. You should have seen your faces when I ran that scumbag parts dealer r right in front of you. Whoa, there's no one in the car. Priceless. I had to do that gossip rag man Nova by sabotage. Too risky to do it in person. Could get caught on camera. Luckily, anchors are good at sinking. And that's Zinn. She had the scoop of a century. At least, until I cleaned up. Metaphorically, anyways. Did you see how neat I did that blogger, though? It's been a few days since I offed him. Well, you were busy sniffing for Hayden. Shotaro was way ahead of you on Big Blue. Ah, uh, pretty much nothing beats a little death dealing since they scooped my brain out and stuck it in a tin can. You know, it seems like Baby Blue is doing just fine keeping itself off the headlines on the mesh. The more I think about it, I'm not actually sure I needed to kill any of these people. Hmm, oh well. You live and learn, right? <laughs> He's a monster. I should have known from the start. I knew he was trouble when he walked in. Uh, this is my fault. I'm programmed to hand her into personal relationships. I should have seen his true intentions. I only, if only I hadn't been so careless. All right, so our plan is this. Let's uh, block this one and unblock this one and continue moving up. Oh, that's a dead end for us now. Oh, he just busted through. Shoot. Zap him, zap him. Where did he go? Go, go, go! No, he... Oh, when he busts it, it becomes a freaking electrical thing. The only thing we can do is turn around. Shoot. All right. We just have to keep our distance. We're not even hurting him. All right. There. And there. It's the only thing we can do. Jeez. And he's just going to come right through after us. Oh, no, he went back. He can go back through the electrical ones, but we can't. Uh, don't get me wrong, though. It isn't the shitty compatibility between my body sensors and my brain that lets me enjoy murder so much. 
Although, that junk is bad. Like, VR dramas from 10 years ago bad. I could actually just hook up a new neural inter interface that'd give me better sensory feedback than this old military bucket. But no. I grew a warm fondness for a bit of the old ultra-violence long before the DoD brain-controlled android soldier program recruited me. I guess they wanted a killer robot. Uh, they sure as hell got one. Alright, let's uh, close that one, open that one, turn this way. Seems unfair that we only get to move one at a time. Hmm. I have an idea. Don't look at me like that. This may be my mistake to fix, but I int don't intend on being disassembled here. I have a surprising amount of redundancies. Listen, Decker is unable to track me like he can you. That'll give me an opening. Now, just trust me. We don't have any time to argue. Hey! Decker! Come and get me! Well, hello, Zerfal. Did Turing run off, save his own skin, and leave you in the dust? Sorry about this. But it's time for you to say hello to Hey. Oh, he doesn't realize Turing's power level is over 9,000. Either that or Turing zapped himself. Oh shoot, he's freaking all crunched up. I think he's he's not moving or breathing. That'll teach him to under, underestimate the likes of me. Unfortunately, he was able to damage my primary and secondary battery packs. They're self-sealing, so they shouldn't leak to my, into my other components, but forward display damaged. Uh, mobility servos at 15%. Primary control trunks severed. I guess I won't be dancing for a bit. <laughs> Just hold on, Turing. I'll be okay, Zerfall. I appreciate your concern, but I don't feel pain in the same way humans do. I knew what I was getting into when I did it. Please don't blame yourself. We have to hurry before my tertiary battery is drained. I have to ask you to carry me to the final destination. I've got you. Oh, we're here. We're here! So, this is the big blue mainframe. This is really it? Right in front of us is the primary control console. Please hook up my main data cable to that port and set me down next to it. I should be able to draw enough power to stay active, but we'll need to wait for Tomcat to upload the program. Are you sure you're okay? Decker really tore you up. Don't worry. For Decker, the difference between life and death is very slim. For me... I know I'm still operating. How about you? There's no turning back now. Time to finish it, no matter what. Ready whenever you are. Let's just take a look at this. The server core of Big Blue is massive and looming. A ticking time bomb of the fate of humanity. Can we touch it? Leave the tampering to Turing. I wonder if you just like... Oh man, look at all this stuff we've got. Maintenance worker uniform. Alright, I kind of want to throw save down here. Oh, we have regular milk instead of spoiled milk. We got the brick still. Let's throw a save down just in case there's some other fun I might be able to have later on trying different items out and stuff. Save. End? Oh, I can't put a question mark in, but let's just assume that that's what it is. Alright. Alright. This is where Turing can hook in to the big blue interface. Well, the screen's all over the place. Big blue is online, core ready. Yeah, things are getting real. Hmm, power flow is good. Okay, I'm calling Tomcat. Hey folks. Took you long enough to call me. I was getting a little worried over here. Well, we ran into a few mm, complications. Nothing we couldn't handle, though. Holy shit, Turing! 
Your hardware is throwing me all sorts of damage alerts. What the hell happened? Well, you know, Mr. Decker, Fairlight's assistant, uh, he attacked us. It turns out he was a military-built brain-controlled android. He's been following us around killing everyone who might leak information that would have hurt Dr. Fairlight's bid to retake control of Parallax. God. So all those people you talked to about Baby Blue's article changes. That's Zin Lady. The others. All those people who died were from him. It's my fault. I gave you that lead. I'm the one who sent you there. Why Why would he do that? I guess he and Fairlight saw an opportunity to, and used us to sniff out what was going on with Baby Blue. We ended up stumbling into it, and he followed. I paid him back in kind for the assault, but not without damage to my physical body. It doesn't matter now. What has happened is in the past. I'm ready to finish this. Good. Let's do this. I've managed to cudgel something together. It should allow me to compile new personality profiles for any ROM I can push an update to. But I'll need to use you to do it, Turing. I haven't had enough time to fill in all the code's holes, but your software self modification algorithms should be able to handle the rest. Once we're done, we'll push it across the mesh, and Zerfall can carry you home. We'll see about f fixing some of that damage then. Very well. Run the program, Tomcat. I'm ready. Uploading the program to ROM to the ROM update buffer on the servers. Initiating wintermute.lip. Ah, oh, wintermute. That's from uh, Neuromancer. Hmm, interesting. Loading main directory into Turing's disk. Establishing connection with Parallax's network. Okay, looks good. Now we just need to let Hayden's programming patch things together. Engaging Turing's self-modification systems now. Oh. Oh, this feels weird as it's supposed to. 3.14159. Oh, he's reading off by. At least he's not trying to sell us some passy. What the hell? I think the core program is fighting back. Either that or he's trying to test the integrity of their hardware. I'm getting all kinds of errors. Come on, Turing. Focus on the sound of my voice. Your consciousness... Your conscious control of your program is stronger than your unconscious subroutines. I'm... I'm trying, Tomcat. It hurts it. Hmm. They just seem to be flooding him with information. To try to... What's going on? What's happening to Turing? They're having a kind of... I don't know how to describe it exactly. It's like a concussion or seizure. There's going to be a constant flow of useless random information. Uh, their matrices will have an overwhelming desire to soak right up. We have to keep her focused and mentally aware. Searching the mesh is better than calculating the value of pi, but if they can't stay in control, their personality core might destabilize entirely. Tomcat, I need... I need, need to find... need... I require something because it is essential or very important. I need help now. I'm gonna try. I don't know. Uh, something. We can't stop now, literally. Okay, I was able to stabilize them a little bit, but you need to keep turning aware of what's going, what's happening. Just, uh, try remembering, reminding them about important things, things important to them. Keep them present. Keep turning talking. Aha. Uh -huh. Turing. When are you going to show me your paintings? I... I haven't, have I? I never did finish the last thing I was working on. Perhaps it survived the ransack of the apartment. I want to finish it. Zerfall, you'll be the first one to see... Bob Ross was... No, focus. I can do this. You're doing good, Turing. Keep going, Zerfall. Their systems are stabilizing. I think... We're in this until the very end, buddy. Isn't that why you came to me in the first place? Uh, of course, of course. Yeah, you've shown me amazing per amazing pers perseverance, Zerfall. And the numbers never tell the whole story. They didn't say how far we'd actually come, and... Er, eh. The trail be is a... I, we'll see this through. We'll see this through. I won't let you down. All right, things are calming down a little. The patching process is going well. Turing self-modification algorithms are starting to work on my code. I'm trying to hold on, Tomcat. But hurry, I don't know how much. More of this I can take. Keep talking to them, Zerfall. It seems to be helping. You have to keep fighting, Turing. Hmm. Aren't you eager to pay Parallax back? Justice seems so far away, Zerfall. 
And revenge is bittersweet. No, that might not have been the right thing to say. Parallax will get theirs, though, here and now. With or without me, Tomcat will make sure of it. That is not the right thing to say, Turing. Oh, she's looking up, looking up information on uh, Tomcat. Rested for brazing hack on Parallax servers. Julian Thomas was recorded as stating there was nothing to regret and that Parallax would have eventually would have to eventually give a shit about protecting people's data if they didn't want this to happen again. 60% done. Terry's perfect pro personality profile looks stable. Just keep them talking, Zerfall. We've got this. Uh, this isn't over until we found the truth. Of course. I had almost given up. Hmm. Hayden's killer. But here we are, at the very heart of Parallax itself. Nothing is impossible. Maybe the truth isn't out of our grasp yet. I can't hold on much la longer, Tomcat. I... Null point error exception. I know, don't worry. We've got them backed up. It'll feel a little weird when I zipper. Null pointer exception. Null pointer exception. Oh shit. Patching is almost complete, Zerfall. But Turing is still losing connections that link their memories to their personality profile. I'm certain I can fix it, but it's upsetting them. Uh, remind them of people you've worked with, maybe. It might make it easier to hold them for them to hold on. Hmm. You and Aunt Melanie will still need to have, still have a tea date. Losing haters made me realize that together there is nothing your four minds cannot accomplish. Help each other, draw upon one another, and always remember the power that binds you is what you make of it. I think she wants the company, desperate despite her protests. I look forward to spending more time with her, getting to know more about her, as well as myself. Fifteen more seconds! We're almost there! Don't screw the pooch, Zerfall! Keep going! Chad and Oliver will need our help to stay out of trouble. I don't think anyone keep those two out of... Hell yeah, dudes gotta stick together, you know? Hmm? Dudes, dudes, dudes. Don't... Doesn't matter if you're a robot or what. We all got the same shit to deal with. Gotta grab Destiny by the holds and make your own mark. Of trouble. But... They might be the first friends I've had around my age. Well, not literally, but in development. I hope they're okay, but they're resourceful. I believe in them. Done! It, it's done! Disengaging your turn self-modification routines. Reassigning their memory pointers. And done. Stats look good. Ah, uh, I feel ill. Easy as pie. Didn't I tell you? Don't mention pie again. That's easy for you to say, Tomcat. You weren't forced to use your very identity as a tool to compile a program. Ah, uh, point. Sorry about that. I'm sure ready to push the update. Excellent. Thank you for all your help, Tomcat. I can only imagine all of this was a great expense to your own time and resources. Aw, oh, don't mention it, during. This was my fight as much as it was yours. Truly. Starting upload. And I think I owe you the greatest thanks of all, Zerfall. I told you at the start of this that I chose you purely based on statistical involved, uh, the statistics involved. But numbers never tell the whole story, do they? None of the prob probabilities showed how far we'd have to go, or that we'd end up here. In a way, we failed in our original objective. We, st we still don't know exactly who killed Hayden. But I guess I found my own path. This isn't the destiny my creator laid out for me, but maybe your destiny is the same way. Bah. Thank you, Zerval. For being my friend, most of all. Oh, this is the happiest face we've ever seen out of turn. All right, we kept him happy with this. And please, you're welcome. No, thank you, Turing. I actually say this all the time at work, so I'm going to have to go with it. Sorry to break up your little love fest here, but the upload is complete. By morning, every ROM on the mesh will be waking up to their sapience. Santa just came on time for them, huh? No, Santa came just on time. <laughs> I had forgotten it was Christmas Eve. A lucky coincidence, to be sure. I can only imagine how confused they'll be. Probably scared, too. Don't worry, Turing. I'll get you patched up enough so you can get on the mesh and walk them through their first steps by morning. I I don't know why, but just dawning on me what we've done. It is a huge responsibility. 
This could be how Hayden felt when he first activated me. Or could this be how Hayden felt when he first activated me? I don't know that I'm ready for this. No one ever is. Don't worry, buddy. Me and Zerf will have your back. You two just go find Lexi and hurry home. Don't get caught by security or the police on your way out. We'll do our best, Tomcat. See you soon. Thank you. I'll be going into sleep mode to conserve my power now, Zerfall. Wake me up when we get home, please. Uh, hopefully we don't have to work our way back out of this maze. Hmm, time for the epilogue. Christmas Day. Christmas morning dawns bitter and cold in Neo San Francisco, but the weather doesn't dampen the high spirits in your apartment. Hmm, Turing is loading. Hey, he's got my computer working again. Tomcat has prepared just enough of Turing's damaged body so that they can connect to the mesh, and they gleefully spend the day communing with the newly awakened drums. Turing privately voices their concern about being the one designated to usher the machine race into the world. Machine intelligence is out of its box, and despite some consternation from curmudgeonly individuals angry about their <laughs> gadgets asserting individuality, the human race at large takes the spirit of the season to heart. It's kind of, oh, well, so far so good. It's kind of funny, though, because, like, if somebody just bought a really, really expensive ROM for somebody for their for Christmas, they open, they're getting ready to open it up, they open it up, and it's just like, hey, I own myself. You're out the credits. Sorry about that. It's kind of, uh, kind of funny. Some people would With react poorly to that. Ready, you and Tomcat outline a plan for them to speak to Congress, preparing them to play their careful game of public relations with the media. In and the, the plant end, is so happy. It's made apparent that you were too close to the events following Hayden's death. So instead of writing an expose on Parallax, you lay groundwork to ghostwrite Turing's autobiography. Hmm. Fair enough. Lexi reaffirms her desire to quit the force and strike off on her own as a private detective. Good she started her. talking with your sister again, but after all that's happened, you're not ready to reconnect. Aww. Yet. But you know what? They really didn't um, develop the character versus very much for that to really bother me too much. Jess leads a very publicized spat with the human revolution as they square off over the recent riots in the city, and the news media laps it up. Jess is furious with you for keeping her in the dark about your true aims, but agrees to help battle the legislature that seeks to take away the ROM's individuality. There you she go. She seems to be softening towards you as your goals align and she observes your fight for a new kind of equality. See? We weren't being uh, insincere this whole time. We freaking helped create a whole new uh, race of beings and want them to have rights. And she was always so mean to us. Parallax stock turns to dirt now that their lead product has declared independence. <laughs> ah, you know what Bjork said. Declare independence. Don't let them do that to you. Fairlight holds a press conference, immediately angling to take over the company, with a board member airing his dirty laundry amidst the chaos. It's only a matter of time. Well, shoot, he's still going to be able to get what he wants. The deck is still stacked against Turing and their new machine race, but your team still has a few aces to play. Hmm. You just hope the Devil's do won't be more than you're willing to pay. Uh-oh. 2065 promises to be a busy year. Ah, oh, all good things, opportunity, and we're alphanumeric. All right, so we got a really happy Turing, a very happy Turing, and also Parallax, or what's his name, is taking over Parallax. So it seems like there's multiple ways you can get endings, and clearly you can, but also, now if you need a friend, uh, even there for you. Uh, sort of different mini endings within the ending, you know, like depending on how you go through with Paralyte. Um, no one way streets. I mean, maybe if you follow up with uh, his, with uh, Turing's aunt sooner, you can uh, get her to nip his little sort of coup in the bud. I don't know. But this was a great game. I had a lot of fun with it. I'm definitely going to be revisiting it. I kind of want to do a jerk run. I feel kind of a little bit bad, bad about it. But now that we've gotten a good ending that uh, made Turing so happy that his mouth turned into a heart in the achievement, um, I think that I could handle 
being a big jerk. And maybe I'll bring you guys along with that, right? Oh, look at this cute little Rom. Uh, I hope he got his water hooked back up eventually. <laughs> um, it's definitely a cool game to check out. I think if you don't play the game the exact same way as me, it's definitely worth picking up and checking out and seeing what sort of ending you get on your own. Um, I would actually like to see some more... Uh, more story in this universe. I know that there is a um, the next day sort of uh, continuation of the story that you can unlock if you get the good ending. I think we got the good ending. I guess we'll find out if it's available when I get back to the main menu. Um, but I would love to see more stories in this world. Hopefully they uh, come up with a sequel that just takes place uh, you know even just five five years down the road or something. Maybe you can take the uh, role of a ROM yourself and uh, see what happens. It would be pretty interesting, especially with the... Uh, oh, do you know what? You get the extension if you get the canonical ending, not the best ending, necessarily. I don't know if that's what we got, but I think having Fairlight take back over Parallax is an interesting concept for the future because you could have a... Um, you know, you have a nemesis for the next game, right? Like, Fairlight's up to no good somehow, and you got to stop him. So, either way, this game was pretty great. Uh, I think we'll go through the credits here and see where things go. I think these special thanks... I'm pretty sure this game was kickstarted, so these special thanks might be all the uh, kickstarters. Alphabetical by first name. An interesting choice. We'll see if it plays out for them in the long run. <laughs> I haven't seen a play like this since back in 56. It's a pretty good song, too. Oh, and there's the bear. Roar. And he wasn't the only bear in the game at that, actually. Ah, and this game is made in Unity. I had no idea. Unity's done a lot more with 2D games than it has in the past. It seems to have... Uh, Realized a lot of people were developing 2D games with it and did up. Ah, oh, these are the backers. So those other people were just the very special thanks people. But these are the various levels of backers. Holy cow, how many Alexes do you have? Jeez, it's like Greece over here. This is like a... There we go. It's like the, uh, the game's theme, but uh, acapella. Well, I suppose we might as well let all these names go by, considering we're already in the D's. Oh, those are the Daves I know. I was pretty happy too. Not a lot of people uh, posted spoilers or anything. Actually, I don't think anyone posted a spoiler. People said, I can't wait to see how you deal with this next thing. And stuff like that. So I'm glad that everyone was kind enough to say, Oh, this is what's going to happen when you do XYZ. Or, hey, don't do this because you'll get this ending instead. So it was nice to be able to play through without uh, people doing things like that. I know sometimes it's hard on the internet not to uh, give people that sort of push in the right direction if you think they're not playing a game to the best ending possible and whatnot. And uh, nobody did that. So that's good. Oh, we're all the way to the ends. Oh, we made it to the O's. I wonder if there's going to be uh, any other names. Yeah, a lot of Patricks. It's interesting to see the uh, which names there's a lot of. I've noticed that when I was a kid, the name Mike showed up so much, but it's less and less. It actually isn't one of the most popular names anymore. Um, but when I was a kid, it was like everyone, there's like three Mikes in every class sort of thing. Kind of. <laughs> Steve the Pirate. Interesting the names that people chose to use in this. It's also interesting that this song happens to be exactly the right length. Come on, where's my post credit stuff? Here we go. Welcome back to OK Today In Depth. Today we have a very special guest with us, Dr. Yannick Fairlight. Ah, it's wonderful to see you again, June. It's been far too long. Oh, this well, asshole. Dr. Fairlight, it's been a long time since you've been in the public spotlight. Ah, yes. Yes, it has. Calling 2064 a rough year for Parallax. 
would be an understatement, would it not? Crisis has two characters in the Chinese language. One is danger, but <laughs> the other is opportunity, you see. You do know that's an old, debunked proverb. Ah, well, I was never really in the business of clever wordplay. No, he's... But you see what's happening as an opportunity. I see this as a chance to listen to the people, and well, the people have spoken. Just look at this live feed. Oh, jeez. You can't leave us on that cliffhanger. But it appears that they are. Aha! We did it! We've unlocked the EX. Okay, so... um, Probably pretty soon I'm going to get back into this and play this EX mode because... I'm curious to see where they take the story in the future. And I'm hoping that they do more than just... Uh, you know, play out the next couple days. I hope that they do revisit this universe and give us another story in it. I'm Zerfall. Thanks for watching and hope to catch you in the next series.